very outdated model. It's been around forever. If you look at this slide here, how does virtualization change desktop management? I'm going to talk about this. I'm going to talk about the uh, cost structure. I'm going to talk about the design, uh, the features, and then talk about some partners. But right now, on the desktop management solution, you know, in the old days when PC started out, it was very labor intensive. It was what became known as the sneaker net, where technicians walked around and went desktop to desktop to install software. Very, very, very expensive. But we've come up with a little bit of a you know improvement from that model in you know the last you know uh, decade or so with uh, SMS and System Manager and, and different types of things that manage your desktop remotely, but your desktops are still stateful. What that means is your desktops carry the different uh, application versions, the different patches, the different user data, the different uh, drivers and devices, and all of the complexity. If you have 5,000 desktops, you have 5,000 unique images out there that need to be managed. So as we move into virtualization, the beauty of that is that a virtual machine will run consistently and uniformly, whether it's on one a machine that the administrator sets up or it's propagated to 5,000 machines. So you're dramatically reducing the complexity of managing desktops by introducing virtualization. One of the nice things about that too with our product, and I'll get into that, is that you can do this in both a thin client as well as a managed desktop mode. It allows you to not only do the traditional uh, disconnected desktop, but also virtual desktop from a centralized view within clients. So it allows you to segment very, very uh, flexibly how you deploy desktops for the lowest possible cost. And of course, being able to do that and offer that to your customer will give you a differentiation versus other people buying for the same services and trying to deliver the same value. So the next slide, please, Deborah. Um, so here we're looking at optimizing the cost uh, of ownership for desktops. If you look at this slide, let's start on the top right where we have acquisition costs. So we look at desktop total cost of ownership, it's made up of acquisition costs of the software, you know, operating costs, you know, health desks and other pieces, hardware costs, and, and this is really about the density of your servers, you know, how many VMs can you run in the servers, uh, how much storage is required in your environment, so these types of costs. And then there's the productivity cost of how easy is it to manage, how, easy, how efficient is it for your users, they have to interact and lose time by uh, fixing their own systems, etc. And Gartner came out with a study that this is what is based on, that an unmanaged PC today is uh, about $10,000 uh, cost uh, for the total cost ownership for an unmanaged PC. If you look at the third line, well-managed PC, they think that a well-managed PC saves about 42% off of a unmanaged PC. What, what, that's probably disciplines, procedures, and you know uh, different practices. It's not really a technology thing right now. It's a lockdown desktop that delivers a well-managed PC. Uh, VMware and Citrix have come out with VDI solutions that are currently based on you know their server heritage. But VMware excels and is, is uh, you know top of the uh, industry with server consolidation. They just assumed that you know that was a good model for desktops. And they're moving very slowly to try to adjust to a desktop centric view. Citrix came at the market trying to you know compete with VMware and they, they bought ZenSource and it was a server oriented play and that they're you know uh, driving very hard towards a VDI approach, which is very desktop centric. Virtual Bridges with Verde right from the beginning has had a desktop centric approach. So we not only automate what's needed for a well-managed PC, but we we introduce additional savings and, and ways to perfect the management of desktops. So even if you look at Verde with Windows, and this is a, a powerful thing here that this partnership with IBM Canonical and Virtual Bridges offers, is that you can go into an organization and you no longer have to say it's all or nothing, you know, or segment these users and run two different systems. With Virtual Bridges, you're able to introduce one desktop management infrastructure that will let you transition from Windows to Linux at your pace. If you're ready to get the maximum cost savings, like this lowest line burden with all Linux desktops and I've been applying for smart work, then you get the maximum possible cost savings right away. If you have to transition over time and you use it already, but you're ready to implement Linux, you want to start doing some Linux desktops and some on the implying for smart work, you can do that. So the beauty of this department is that we're offering you 
you a platform that will save costs immediately and give you the ability to introduce new cost saving levels over time. So it's a long term prospect with your customer. You get in there for three to five year engagements and you say, I'm going to bring your cost down in this methodical, practical, risk averse way. If you have an aggressive customer, you say, I can bring you in now and I can offer you best of breed, state of the art virtual desktop management for Linux, for IBM client for smart work. And so this is the beauty of uh, Virtual Budgets Verde. It gives you that power to get in there and talk to Windows accounts and capture their hearts and their dollars. Uh, the next slide, please. So here we're looking at uh, the architecture. And I want you to focus on the middle slide, uh, the middle of the slide which says Verde cluster. You see it running on a cluster of canonical Ubuntu servers. And on top of that is the virtual bridge infrastructure. To the right, you see the usage persistent data. And to the left, you see gold master provisioning. This is a very unique capability of virtual bridges Verde product. You set up this number of profiles. You see you've got a gold master with the IBM client for smart work on top of Windows. You've got uh, Windows 7. If, if, you know, people insist on it, you can check the box and say, yes, if you want to have some segment there, you can do that. It will coexist. But for the ideal and optimal cost option, you see you have the IBM client for smart work on top of the Ubuntu client. That will give you the richest experience at the best cost, bar none, in the industry. So what you do is you authenticate to this middle server, and on the fly, we combine the gold master with the user's data to create a unique session. That unique session has got the wallpaper, it's got the notes ID, it's got the bookmarks. It is a unique session for that user, but it's made from a standard gold master plus the user's unique data. When the user had some sort of corruption or malware or operator error, they simply log in again and the gold master is reinstantiated and the persistent data is added and it's as if they had a completely new install of fresh software in 15 seconds. So you, you're allowing your customers to be impervious to persistent malware corruption. It's a huge opportunity. Not only is it simple to manage and to deliver value to these branch models, these bring your own computer models, these campus and classroom models, the MSP model, the desktop to service model, and the home and telecommuting model, but it, it dramatically lowers the cost of running these desktops. Once you get this set up, and it's, it's, you know, we work with you and our partners work with you, and you know, that's, that's really the role that we have for you. We do shadow selling and enablement for you, so you go into your customers, you set this thing up, and after it's set up, all you have to do is update your gold master with any new applications or patches, and add in, new, add in delete users from your direct, and that's, it. that's all you have to do to manage this once you get it set up. So going forward, it's a revolutionary approach that dramatically lowers desktop management costs by simplifying the whole process and using virtualization and gold masters to propagate out uh, efficient desktops. This is extremely powerful, and, and obviously, you know, this is a quick discussion on this. And uh, in the end of this presentation, there'll be links of how to contact us, obviously, and talk about this and get more information. But this chart kind of sums up the value proposition. Next slide, please. I won't spend a lot of time on the features. I mean, this is a, a fairly wordy slide, but one thing, a couple things are very important. One is Virtual Bridges was the first VDI infrastructure to actually couple disconnected use or client-side hypervisor for local processing. So from the same goal management, goal master management infrastructure, you can do VDI uses as well as disconnected users. So we're covering the entire organization with this. The goal master provisioning we talked about our scalability is second to none. We'll use a distributed connection broker so your customers can feel safe that they won't hit a wall of 1,000 to 2,000 users with traditional connection brokers. Uh, our cloud branch is drawing rave reviews from the analyst and from a lot of our managed service provider customers and people who provide desktop management services. What the cloud branch allows you to do is use the same gold master technology that we use for disconnected use that replicates the gold master to a client side hypervisor. But that client side hypervisor is running on an on premise or a branch server. So centrally manage the gold images, but have them automatically replicate to the branches or to your remote customers. And they don't have to do anything at the branch level. Yet we're taking 